welcome back to our YouTube channel. We have had a few weeks of not posting and we are so happy to be back. We and are. today we are back with a pregnancy nighttime routine. I know we've done this with the IVF nighttime routine, but now I'm pregnant, it's slightly different. Yes, it definitely is. You'll probably notice I'll be so tired at about 7 p.m i'll literally be ready for bed and also thank you so much to surfshark vpn for sponsoring today's video firstly let's go make dinner what are you cooking for dinner so we are having beyond burgers sweet potato fries and normal fries so yummy it looks so good cakey and then there's the sweet potato and the normal fries we couldn't decide what we wanted but yeah, this looks really, really good. So we're now having dinner, and what we have here is a bun with the Beyond Burger. <laughs> here we have a bun. Here we have the bun. So exciting. With the Beyond Burger, onions, Caitlin's got the ketchup and the mayo. And I have tomato. Tomato, and then we have a mixture of chips and sweet potato chips. And oh my god, let's do a taste, taste the test. Oh my gosh, the pressure. The pressure. Mmm. I can't fit my mouth around it. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. This is so good. Oi you, who's not already subscribed? If you're not subscribed, you better subscribe right now. Are we not getting a forehead kiss? Five, four, three, two, one. Mmm! <laughs> Write in the comments what you're having for dinner tonight. So we've had a lot of questions on pretty much all of our platforms saying, does Leah have any cravings yet? So Leah, do you have any cravings? See, I'm really confused because I have fancied food and I said to Kenny, and that's not a craving because when I've like looked online, a craving is when people say you have to have it. Like even if it's one in the morning, mm -hmm. you need to eat that. But then Kenny said, no, it's not always like that. You can just have like a fancy for something. Like for example, mm. Leah doesn't usually eat cucumber every single day mm. like a big chunk of cucumber but she always is fancying like a big chunk of cucumber so i would mm. say that's a craving but then leah's like but i don't need it like mm. i'm not desperate that i need to have it so it's a hard one um i would say if you want to think of it like that then i'd say definitely cucumber um anything else mm. It was a KFC burger. It used mm. to be McDonald's. I'm, I'm not really wanting a McDonald's anymore. You've gone off McDonald's a bit. Mm. It kind of, would you say, um, ready salted crisps? Or do you just have them no. because you feel sick? Yeah, I just have them. Because I've also had, like, trigger warning. If anyone struggles with etnophobia or anything like that, please, like, we'll put a timestamp here. Um, but, yeah, I have been sick nearly every day for the last, yeah. like, week. Um, so I was struggling with that, but ready salty crisps are really helping me with that. Mm. Um, You've tried ginger really biscuits. You've tried mm. ginger biscuits, but they haven't helped. No. But I think we're, we're sailing through. We're listening to my body. Um, I feel yeah. so sorry for you, though. Like, when you wake up and you're just being sick, mm. I'm like, oh, bless her, because it's awful to feel sick. It, is, it was, but... like, the worst timing as well to get all your sickness. Yeah. So we'll keep you guys updated with everything that's gone on. Which is why we haven't posted mm. in a while. Because if you've noticed, we've had like a gap of posting, but we will update you probably on the next video, do a whole sit down video. Okay, so I have a pineapple here and I've got a really weird theory. So Caitlin's aunt said, you wait for this to get ripe and then you bang it on the counter. And then once you've banged it on the counter, it hasn't worked for us, you pull these out. And apparently you then have pineapple chunks. It's really weird, but apparently it saves so much stress of like um, cutting it all up. But yeah, try it and let me know if it works for you. Okay, so we've just sat down to watch some TV on our laptop and we really want to talk to you guys about Surfshark VPN because it's honestly a lifesaver. It has literally <sighs> saved us so many heartaches. We actually went to New York um, a few years ago now and we got yeah. hooked to NCIS on Netflix. But the issue is when we came back to the UK, it wasn't available. No. And we have literally found the perfect thing to fix this issue. We're gonna show you how it works. 
Surfshark is an app and browser extension which lets you change your IP address so that you could be anywhere in the world. It unblocks channels and websites that you wouldn't usually be able to use in the country that you live in. Cool, right? Break free from surveillance and protect your data online. Surfshark is super simple to use. You simply download the application and you can change your location to absolutely anywhere in the world. We changed our virtual IP address to the United States so we could of course catch up on NCIS, which we love. And don't worry, Surfshark encrypts your data so that you are fully protected on public Wi-Fi. And here's us enjoying NCIS from the comfort of our home in the UK, all thanks to Surfshark VPN. Our cat recommends it too. I honestly don't think we've had a discount code as good as this for any sponsorship we've done. The link for Surfshark VPN will be in the first line of our description. Go check it out. All right, we're going to watch TV now for a bit longer and then we're probably going to have a bath. Yes. So our cousin is over and the dogs are going crazy. Yes, Milo. Milo. Hello. Are you excited, Alfie? Look at that tail wagon. Look at that tail. Milo's gone crazy. <laughs> Milo has lost the plot. Milo. Say hello. There's Milo and it's about seven o'clock, which means it's injection time. Because our pregnancy is through IVF and everything, just to aid with the pregnancy and to make sure everything's going in the right, right direction, I take three things. So I take a pessary, I take injections, and I also take estrogen tablets. But soon I won't be able to take any of that. I will be graduated from my injections and everything like that. I don't know how I'm going to feel when I finish taking these because I feel like I know it's good for the baby so I don't mind but I think it'll be mixed feelings because obviously it's good because I won't need it anymore but also I'll be like a bit nervous at first because I'm so used to it but we take it at like half seven in the morning and then half seven at night so sometimes it's a little bit hard to get up but you know the nurses at the clinic say to us you don't actually have to do it on the same time but because we've done it for so long, we're scared to do it a bit later, so. Oh, it's quite chilly and we didn't realise and we've gone on a walk, um, but it's quite cold. Yeah, it is actually a little bit cold. We thought we'd go on a nice little evening stroll to like, just clear our heads. Yeah. Reflect on the day and everything. So we thought it would be nice to say something we've been grateful for, for today. Yes. So um, you, you start. So my mum hasn't been very well um, the past week and a bit, so I am grateful that she is feeling better today. Um, I am grateful for Leah and everything she's been doing. Uh -huh. And I am grateful for our little baby growing in your tummy. Aww. Okay, this is going to be annoying because it's going to be the same as Caitlin, but I am grateful that Anne is starting to feel better. I'm grateful for Caitlin, my mum, my nan, my family. I'm grateful for Connor. We saw Connor yesterday yeah. and that was lovely. And I'm grateful that we have a little baby in my belly. Um, Such a copycat. I am a copycat, really. But yeah, I'm just going to add another one that's different. Okay, I am. I did, Connor. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm grateful for Connor too. Okay, I am grateful for. The job that we have that allows us to be so free and allows mm. us to be able to live the life we're living. That is very true. Which that means we're very, 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 very grateful for you guys. We are extremely grateful for you guys. You mean more to us than we could ever describe. Yeah, and I don't think we say it enough, but honestly, you guys, you don't realise how much we actually do love you and appreciate you guys. And yeah, we'll make a conscious effort to say it more because Definitely. we really do. The three of us are all tucked up in bed now. So cute. One, two, three. three. <laughs> in my belly. Um, that is pretty much our night routine. It doesn't consist of too much right. because we don't do that much really, do we? We never did much before, but now that we're pregnant, we are very tired. So Yeah, especially <laughs> Leah. She is, of course, exhausted. Yeah, so I'm so sorry if you found that a bit boring, but that is a realistic nighttime routine for us at the moment. Um, I'm sure if we do a nighttime routine when we've given birth, 
it'll be, it'll be a lot different. more chaotic we're just gonna watch some more ncis and yeah thank you so much again to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to check out the description for all the links and the discount codes and all of that jazz. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe and all of that jazz. And we will see you in another video next week. Bye guys. Bye.